All right, y'all, I'm going to keep this workout short and simple, all right? I'm a bench press. You got all these benches in here. I'm pretty much in here by myself. It's like two people in here. All right, I got a 45-pound bar, 45-pound plate, 45-pound plate. I'm showing y'all different um, ways that I'm going to put on the um, thing, but it makes no sense because I didn't go in a sequence that I was going to go in anyways when I was pointing at those weights. So it doesn't make sense for me to uh, tell y'all that. But this is a bench press only day, and I'm going to tell y'all why at the very end of the video. No, matter of fact, I ain't going to make y'all wait to the end of the video. This is a bench press only workout because I'm training my hypertrophy. I'm starting to train my volume, and I'm really using my math-based fitness. All right, I'm using numbers. Let me tell y'all the equation right quick. I want to, I'm not going to put 315 on the bar, but I want to lift the equivalent of 315, but only using 240 pounds, which is 80% of my one rep, not my one rep max, but the heaviest I've done for one rep as of lately. I did 300 pounds e even on multiple different occasions lately for one rep. All right, not a bunch of reps, but a bunch of different times. And a few times it felt very easy. And a few times it felt kind of hard. And a few times I got scared to do it. All right. And sometimes I feel like I could have done it for two or three reps, which would be the, over the equivalent of 315 pounds. All right. But last time I tried 305 because I thought I was ready. And that day, I guess I wasn't ready that day and I failed. So I decided, you know what? I'm not ready for 305, but I don't want to keep pushing 300 even and pushing my CNS um the plan was to make 300 even easy but i got a different plan i'm gonna go with one of my other plans i'm gonna knock some weight off and just go for reps all right and build my reps up and then every time i bench i'm gonna add five pounds so to, today i want to do 240 for the equivalent amount of reps i'm gonna show you all the math at the end because i use my rep calculator and i'm gonna show you how to stay to the end it's only a six six minute video so this is 185. That was 135 you just seen me do. This is 185, right? I'm warming up. And I'm doing relatively high reps on each set. Now, and at the end, I'm going to do 340 for the equivalent. I'm going to show you what I mean by the equivalent. It's an estimated, guesstimated equivalent using an app, which also uses math. And a lot of people say science-based fitness is based on math, and you're right. But a lot of people take that name and they run with it. They ran it to the ground, and I would not follow most of these people who talk about science-based fitness. All right, they don't crunch the numbers. They don't even have workout videos half the time, all right? So 185, and I weigh 180, right? I weigh 180 pounds right now, and that's five pounds above my body weight. Right now, I'm going to go for 225, which I call the universal talk to me weight, which means that every time somebody see you with 225 on a bar, doesn't matter if you're doing it for 10 reps, one rep, or whatever it is, they're going to come over there and talk to you, all right? So I don't like doing more than 225 in the gym when there's a lot of people, even though I do, and I have to, whatever, but I be acting a different way when they come towards me, like, dog, don't, 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 do not, please don't. So the, the maximum amount that I've done lately with 225, I'm not going for that right now. But I had 12 reps. Let's see how much I got today. I'm not going for that. One, two. I'm going to show you why. Why after three. What was it? Two? Man, I lost count. Whatever. I'm going to just go ahead and tell y'all why. You can count it. Oh, and I'm not editing that out. I'm not fixing it. We keep it real over here at Repetime Fitness. I keep it real because I do this by myself. But I say we because you with me. You know what I'm saying? You watching the video. You're part of it. So. Not doing maximum amount of reps with the 225 because I want to go into the 240 and have enough oomph to push X amount of weights. All right, so I have to put these weights right here on there. A 5-pound plate, 2.5-pound plate, a 2.5-pound plate, and a 5-pound plate on each side. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you all what that looks like. Bam, bam. And then, of course, the same thing on the other side. Always want both sides to match. A lot of people, oh, it was 3 o'clock in the morning, too. So I got to hurry up and get this set done. It's the last set. I got to hurry up and get it done before people start coming in the gym. So I got to get 240 pounds for 10 reps to equal out to 315, right? So I should have made that scene a little bit longer, right? I should have stretched it out so you can actually look at the math. But you can rewind and pause it, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what this 245 look like. But this is not me explaining this is not me complaining, but this is me explaining. Look at my headphones. I usually knock my headphones off because these headphones are cheap. And uh, I forgot to do it. So I knocked it off and did like that right there. And that right there probably caused me a rep. Probably caused me a rep. And I'm actually not going as many reps as I possibly can because I do not have a spotter. So I don't want to get stuck. 
But I'm going to try to still get them 10. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Come on, 6, 7, 8. Come on, that's 6. Come on, two more, two more. Seven, one more. Come on, man. Eight. I thought I got seven. I got seven. So I messed up right here. I could have easily, if they weren't for them headphones, I could have probably got another rep. I could have actually got that eight. But I thought I did have eight, so I put this uh, rep calculator back on the screen, and I used eight, which I actually had seven. So let me show you all this rep calculator. Right? I should have edited that a little bit better. So ten would have been that. Nine would have been the equivalent of, uh, uh, so I did eight. I thought I did eight, which is the equivalent of 299, which I actually did more than 299. So, yeah, man, so I, I usually take some weight off, and then I do back offsets. But I'm not trying to fry my CNS. I'm only training for hypertrophy right now, which, yes, this will help more. But I got um, deadlift tomorrow, and it's supposed to be my day off, and it's my day off from work, and this and the third. So I just took the weights. But I do want to explain a little further what I'm doing, all right? Because I have to do this. This is the same set, right? This is not another set. The same set. So I'm training in a different style than I'm usually training in, right? So I usually go for a heavier weight, less reps, right? So when you switch it up, that means you're beginning a new training block, right? So you want to ease into that and then ramp your way up. So every workout is going to be a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Then I'm going to start adding accessories. I'm kind of rough drafting what I want to do. I'm probably do just bench like I just did. Next time I'm going to do just deadlift, then just squat, and then do a fourth day, which will be my accessory day, which I'm doing full body of everything else that I'm missing, like pull-ups, rolls, um, curls, um, leg extensions, leg press, uh, you name it. You know what I'm saying? Um, tricep push downs, things like that, but emphasizing and prioritizing things and then switching up the priorities as I hit that fourth day. That's kind of a work rough draft, right? That's just thinking about how I'm gonna do it because I still want to hit everything on my body. I still want, you know, my bodybuilding goals, which that's what I'm kind of switching towards, anyways. But I'm I'm amping up to peak on my powerlifting goals. So this is all mostly powerlifting.